Hey guys, welcome back to Ocalini Cuisini. Uh, you know that I love to cook things from scratch. I'll cook anything, anywhere, at any time, any size, it doesn't really matter. But I'll tell you the truth, I like to cheat a little bit now and again too. And when you get a craving for that now kind of up and coming famous Nashville hot chicken, uh, sometimes you gotta look and see where they've got it and you gotta gotta drive far for it. It's not your next door stuff. So here's how you can cheat. Uh, Ralph's, of all places, does a pretty good fried chicken, especially if you get there soon after it comes out. I think you get 12, uh, 12 pieces for 10 bucks or 11 bucks. It's uh, an amazing deal and it's good fried chicken. But here's what you do. You bring it home. You prep a few things like this. You make some mashed potatoes. You make some um, uh, cream spinach. And then you make your wing sauce, which you saw the other day we made our wing sauce. And so I've got a good bubbling crude of our wing sauce. Then you take your fried chicken and you toss it in the oven at 450 degrees. And so it's back to that sizzling hot. Now here's the great cheat. This is how you make Nashville hot chicken in your own house without a mess at all. You grab yourself a beautiful, as you can see, it's sizzling right now because it was in there so hot. You dip it in your wing sauce because that's that cayenne pepper sauce. So now you've got that. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do two pieces here. Dipped in there. And then you can use a cayenne pepper mix. But what I like to use is we make this Indian mix here. That's a cayenne pepper. We call it gunpowder. But then... You shake a little bit of this. I can't even see because of the steam. You shake a little of that on top, and you've got Nashville hot chicken dipped in the hot sauce, topped with a little more hot sauce. Then you get yourself a little mashed potato on the side. Now, I love to mix mashed potatoes and cream spinach. But normally, I would just mix it all in the pot together. But the family doesn't necessarily know how good that is, and so they're going to keep it separate for now. But then you get it in here. You put this like so, and then you mix that cream spinach with the mashed potatoes, and you've got Nashville hot chicken made in your kitchen. No fuss, no muss, cheating, but good. Sometimes cheaters prosper. Ciao for now.